Hey everyone, welcome to Alice and Bob. Today we talk about how to become part of the Dotsama ecosystem. Because our community is growing, there are a lot of people joining and also the existing people in our community. Um, everyone is having a lot of questions and a constant need for information and latest news. So my idea for this video is to share with everyone uh, the most important websites and communities so that you can find your way around. First of all, I want to say thank you for 100 subscribers on the Alice and Bob YouTube channel. Um, you've been there from the beginning and I'm very thankful for that and I hope we can do a lot of uh, good videos together. You're always providing great suggestions and also 400 followers on Twitter, so let's get connected. Um, and also I'm collecting all the screenshots of where you are thankful uh, that I could help you with the channel. But for me, it's really a community because we are exchanging a lot of information. And so we're doing this together. Okay, so let's go there. The time is growing. What information should I look for? The video is split into four parts. First, uh, where do you get core information and sources? Second, where do you get news and latest developments? So what's going on? Number three, where is social media happening in the Datsama ecosystem? And number four, you will get an invitation to our new Discord channel. So let's jump in. As a few general guidelines, um, always use official sources. Um, and what does this mean? So there is a lot of um, uh, the, the terms Polkadot and Kusama and, uh, and Substrate are the basic terms that are used within the community to, uh, to give orientation and sometimes there are used mutations of that. And a lot of networks and technologies are uh, spawning that use Substrate, the basic technology behind Polkadot and Kusama. But Substrate is not Substrate. Just because a project is using sub Substrate does not mean it's a legitimate or an honest project. So you always have to do your own uh, due diligence, use your mind and think about is this a scam or not. What you can usually assume is that if a project is interacting with the community a lot uh, and is able and willing to communicate, it's usually a good sign, uh, but you still have to think. So in general, uh, who, which channels can you follow? There are official sources, there are the front people of the projects, usually the established projects and those that are in communication with the Web3 Foundation, with Parity, the producer of the substrate technology and so on. All the accepted parachains that already won a slot, um, you can think of those as um, uh, being uh, very likely legitimate projects. Um, also, there are a lot of developers and technology providers out there. If they are used a lot, you can think about following them. Um, you can see venture capital companies, firms, and uh, they sometimes have interesting takes on things and also news projects and get in contact with the community. There are a lot of great people on Twitter and on Discord and Riot. So let's jump into the actual sites that we want to see. So the first two things I want to show you is the Polkadot wiki. And you see that it has just a lot of information. So they, they have the chapters learn, build, maintain. And so there is something there for everyone. And if you're completely new, I think this is the best source, the Polkadot Wiki and also the Kusama Wiki. If, you, if you're a little bit more radical, if you're a little bit more interested in the technology and want to see everything happen in real time, Kusama is the community for you. And the Kusama guide um, may show you some uh, more current information on that. So uh, if you feel wild, you can even look at the blockchain itself and you can do this with the portal application. So the portal application allows you to see what is happening on the blockchain. You can see every new block that is minted and you see everything from staking to governance going on. So it's always a good idea to look into the portal. It will reveal a lot of things and it will give you new questions to think about uh, that you can then discuss. Then there is Polk assembly. So if you're interested in what's happening on chain and, and some of the core discussions, um, 
this is a very good source because there is there are, for example there are referenda and proposal happening so proposals about changing something on the actual blockchain and you can find all the discussion that is happening uh, in in connection with the proposals here so you can see people actually discussing this and then you just have the general discussions so this is an interesting place to go and then the next category is explorers so blockchain explorers um, that are looking into what is happening so if you're really interested in the explorers and what is happening on chain you can also use this they you they sometimes have more advanced features than just what you find on the portal and you can see that a lot of substrate based uh, blockchains uh, can be looked at in this way so you see similar information but one example where it's uh, where you see more information and more than just on the portal is when you look at uh, oh we are on polkadot so we can go to kusama for example and look at the parachain dashboard so the parachain dashboard shows you the actual ranking of the currently running parachains uh, and you you just find a lot more information. So this is if you want to go uh, down the rabbit hole, this is a good thing. So what are the explorers? The first one is subscan.io. I can also suggest uh, if you're interested in Polka, Polka scan, so that's polkascan.io. And there is also polkastats.io. These are the free explorers that I know of. Then when it comes to the official sources and the official community, you can visit the Polkadot wiki and find the community tab. And there you find all the official links to all the official communities. Okay, so this is the official sources. Now let's go to news uh, and latest information. And I present to you the YouTube channels that I currently know of. We are a little community Hello, <laughs> as of now. And we start with, uh, we go from the bigger, bigger uh, YouTube channels to the smaller YouTube channels. So the biggest YouTube channel right now is Cryptos Chain. And he mostly does information and Polkadot and Kusama, but I think not exclusively. So he does other information as well. As well. And he's doing, he's aware, having a very high schedule. Uh, I think he's doing with this every day um, or many days a week. Um, then you have the promo team, the Polkadot promo team. Uh, they have 2,500 subscribers as of now, and they are doing, um, videos every week or so and um, uh, they also have a lot of information on the, the big developments then our good friend jay chirana um, he is doing a lot of uh, behind the scenes videos how do i participate in crowd loans create an account and so on so if you want to go deeper he has a lot of good videos and also the slot election reflections currently where he looks at the parachain crowd loans you can also find Crypto Elementary, uh, el elementary um, very similar um, current information, also going a little bit uh, into the details, into the tech, if this is something that is interesting you. And uh, also on the crowd loans, we have that Sama DeFi uh, created a video, just started the channel and will do more in the next days. Okay, this was YouTube. Now we move on to uh, also the, the current parachain auctions. So Kraken is doing a podcast on the parachain auctions. You can go there. Uh, they're doing different things too, but they are also uh, bullish on Polkadot Kusama. And so they are doing content for the parachain auctions. And uh, something that's new, I just discovered this today. Teriyaki Don, um, he's doing a podcast, a Layer Zero podcast, so the general web-free area, but I, uh, I think there will be a lot of good episodes on this podcast coming out. Okay, um, we already covered this. And then the last uh, website that I want to show you the, with uh, some basic information is .marketcap.com. And so it's a website dedicated to the Polkadot substrate ecosystem and they are showing the market caps for uh, all of the 
assets that are already having a price and if you click on an asset it shows you more details for example tok tokenomics uh, and so on so it's a little bit more specific on substrate based technologies than if you would go to coingecko or coinmarketcap.com so um, a few more uh, community websites so uh, subsocial.network is a um, social network based on substrate technology so you actually have a token to create everything um, i think they're not too public yet in the sense that if you sign up you get uh, half a sub token so you can do a, a few follows but you can't really post that much um, but it's still an interesting platform where you can see a lot of interesting information posted. So to get information, it's a very good platform and uh, it's very close to, to the sub Substrate community. Um, and now we go into Riot, and Matrix and Discord. So Discord is a, a lot of communities are on Discord. Uh, and also there is the Riot and Matrix chat, which is a little bit more anonymous. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to, but very important channels and very close to the source channels uh, are here. So if you want to be one of the first people informed on what's going on at the core of Kusama and Polkadot, I can highly suggest those channels. Um, yes. And then there is medium.com and medium.com is also where a lot of information is posted and a lot of articles are posted. Um, my idea is you can see my follow list, the channels which I'm following, and I'm trying to keep it mostly pure to the Substrate community, but you can find a lot of people and communities posting there um, also. And then if you are interested in Twitter, and Twitter ha just has a great community um, on everything. So uh, I created some lists. I'm curating some lists that you can follow. So for example, Dotsama, Econets are all the networks that I can find that are uh, active. Dotsama, Echo News are the news channels that are active on Twitter. And you can find some other um, channels that you can follow. So take a look at the lists and just uh, figure out uh, the people and then you will find your way around. And the last uh, social network that is very important in our ecosystem is Reddit. So that there are a few subreddits, but not that many that are really active. But for example, you can find Kusama, Ripfree, Polkadot, and um, yes, just look and see uh, your way around. So finally, um, the community that we launched today, uh, we just called it Ku for now. It's a Discord community of people from the Twitter bubble and so on that just want to get in contact. Um, so you can uh, come to our Discord, uh, get in contact, get some information going. And the idea is just to connect people um, and let them talk about all the parachains uh, and so on in an open space. Um, yeah, come, uh, you will find a link in the description and you can join us. So uh, coming to an end, if you like the content, if you like the channel and you want to also earn interest on your KSM, we can combine this. You can nominate our validator node, the Alice and Bob validator node and the Kusama network. This helps us secure the network and we also uh, you also earn interest on your KSM tokens, roughly 15% per year. Um, so if you want to know um, more about this, there's also a link in the description with the article this, that describes you how this works and links to the videos on how you can actually do the staking. So this is the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot. If I missed something, please let me know in the comments or get in contact via Discord or Twitter. Um, I hope you learned a lot. Stay safe and goodbye.